It's astonishing that ASIO and ASIS chiefs are not permanent members of the National Security Committee of Cabinet. Imagine the Prime Minister trying to toughen up our security and instead of having the intelligence chiefs as permanent members of the chief national security body, he instead appointed the climate change minister, Chris Bowen. Well, today on Ray Hadley's program, AFP chief Rhys Corsher, Rhys Corsher revealed that he was also not a permanent member of the NSC. I get invited uh, at the appropriate time and, and that, that's uh, a good process. Well, good on Ray Hadley for sticking with that important story, for questioning him on it. Now, let's bring in now the Shadow Defence Minister, Andrew Hasty. Andrew, good to see you again. Do you think... Good evening, Sherry. Do you think the Labor government is taking national security seriously enough? And do you think that the terror threat level should be re-examined? Uh, the short answer is no. This Labor government is not taking national security seriously enough. Right now we need a strong government and we have a weak government. And the best thing that Anthony Albanese could do tonight is restore the Directors General of ASIO and ASIS to his National Security Committee of Cabinet. He needs those eyes and ears. They are responsible for foreign intelligence, domestic intelligence against all of our threats. They should be there advising him and it's a travesty that they aren't. As for the threat level, that's a decision to be made uh, in that committee. And um, I'm sure the advice given by the Directors General of ASIS and ASIO and ONI would um, help the Prime Minister make that decision. Mm. Look, National Senator Matt Canavan spoke to Andrew Bolt earlier and I thought he made this very strong point. Have a quick listen. I, I want our Prime Minister to defend the, the right of Christians to preach their religion and do so safely and to crack down on those religious extremists that, are, uh, that have been inciting violence ever since October 7th. Yeah, Andrew, what do you think about this proposition that the Prime Minister didn't quite come out strongly enough this morning in defence of Christians and he didn't really at all um, criticise radical extremism? Well, Shari, Australia is a young democracy. We're only 123 years old and this is probably our most severe test when it comes to social cohesion. And what the Australian people need right now is strong national security leadership and Anthony Albanese is giving weak national security leadership. He's using weak language, he's uh, using weak values, he's not articulating Australian values, and our community needs strong direction from him. And that means making very clear there's no place for religious extremism in this country. And the Christian community, particularly the Assyrian Orthodox community, will be feeling it tonight. And that's why Anthony Albanese's words matter, and it's not strong enough at the moment. Mm.